out here at the uh, Moonshine Cruise in Hiawassee, Georgia. And uh, I met these dudes that uh, they're into building a traditional hot rod style. And I know y'all like that. And this one here is about as cool as it gets. So let me run these boys down here and tell me a little bit about what they got. Sean, Jeb, how are you guys? Good, man. Scott. Tell me uh, what y'all bring to the show here. We've got our latest in scratch built hot rod. Really? Yeah, this is the uh, first aluminum body um, truck. Uh, it's not going to be the last. I'm just trying to soak it all in, man. It's I mean, total you know, badass. Uh, yeah, you ain't kidding. It's just crazy, isn't it? Now, would you use like a Model A body or something? It's uh, it's based off of Model A design, 3031 Model A design, but um, obviously they didn't make them in aluminum back in the 30s. Right, so. right. Um, so you handmade all that? Yeah, we every made, piece of we it. We made everything. We we try and make every part that we can, as long as it's you know within reason. Right. You know, we we try and make everything. That's sort of what we're specializing. Chassis, chassis, all the suspension, suspension. components. The um, on this particular truck, on the front end, we wanted to go with the big ten bolt uh, spindles, so um, we made our own hot rod axle for. Ford F450 spindles. Wow, that, that is cool. You even are telling me you make like lug nuts and everything. Yeah, we made the spike lug nuts. Um, we make those. Um, we, I've made them for people all over the country. Wouldn't it be easier just to buy this stuff? They're hard to find. Yeah. 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 Isn't that what everybody else does? Just buys this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be nearly as cool, would it? <laughs> yeah. So y'all, is this the type of stuff? I mean, do you build this stuff yourself for a living? Yes. What's the name of your shop? Cutworm Specialties. Where are y'all located at? We're located in Hayesville, North Carolina. Cool. And do you have a website or anything? Yeah, we do. Facebook? Facebook. Tell me the website address. It's uh, cutwormspecialties.com. And Facebook? It's Cutworm Specialties. Come follow us on Instagram. Okay, cool. And this is kind of the style that you all like, the kind of a traditional crazy hot rod look. Yeah, it's, um, it's I built the first car three years ago, and, and uh People sort of went crazy over it, and um, and now I've got people waiting to have me build them one. So is this a client car? Did this you build is it for a client shop? car. This has got to go to Minnesota. Cool. And how long have y'all been doing this? I've been doing it for about three years, as far as building building them from you know scratch, scratch. And building everything. Right. Yeah, that's the big thing because I've been talking to you all day. That's the thing. If you can make it, you want to make it. Yeah, we will we'll try. Yeah. yeah. Have y'all run into some stuff that you just, it just ain't working? You got to go buy the commercial part for it or something? Not really. I mean, most of the time, if we are going to make something, we pretty much know we can do it. And, and, and I'm we, guessing you're doing a lot of this with a bender and a welder. You don't have a CNC machine and no, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, no. We, we, we even made some uh, on two of the cars that I were, one we're building and one car that I built, we even made the wheels. No kidding. Yeah. How do you do that without a CNC machine? You just got to make jigs and oh. hold everything in place. Wow. So you like weld a bunch of pieces together, make a round thing? I don't know. I'm ignorant to that. It's I'm it's, confused. It's all Measure about twice, cut once. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I love this. When I saw this, what's that rear axle off of? That's a uh, Dana 70 HD out of a motorhome. Same with the wheels. They came off a of motorhome. That is cool. And it'll sit flat on the ground. They're 19.5s. Semi truck the tires. Wanted. He didn't want it. He, he was very specific in. You know, wanting to do like a 19.5 or a 22.5, um, he, he didn't want to do like a 16-inch dually wheel. Right. He, was, he, was he wanted a real truck wheel on it. Yeah, he yeah. wanted a big truck wheel. Right, right. And then you all did the work on the inside too? Yeah. Made the seats and everything? Made the seats and everything. Man, a lot, man. Even the steering wheel. You want me to open it up? Yeah, 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 yeah. How long does it take to build a project like this? We've been working on this one since January. Here it is. That's not bad at all, man. August. August. Man. So, and we've that had is other cool. cars going too, so it's sort of been, uh, sort of been something that we, uh, we've had to push to the side for a little bit of time, but for the most part, it's, we've been eager to get this one done just because we, we're all pretty pumped up. I would it. think, yeah, no, and now you, you went out and spent a little money on gauges, I see, those are some nice gauges. Yeah, we there. did, yeah. and, and I, I made sure that that was something that the, the customer was going to be happy with, I had him actually pick them out, and, uh. It's kind of one of those personal things. You know, what do you want to look at? That's it. Yeah. And I think that with the level of build that you've got here, you know, because 
I mean, it's supposed to look bare bones and aggressive, you right. know what I'm saying? But that's just a nice little finesse touch to it, you know, right. to put you kind of in a... And I love how you box the doors and everything, yeah. right? Yeah, dude, that's cool. It looks like it's almost bulletproof. Yeah. Right? I mean, aren't you expecting to see, like, three-inch glass in that door? Yeah, Man. it's pretty beefy. It's Very light, cool. though. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. It's all aluminum. What's it weigh? You know? Not much. No. No, the, the aluminum body is... It's, it uses a lot more material to make it work, but... Right. It, it's still light. Now, do you? I guess I guess you have to box it in places and make it double wide and all. You just can't yeah. use it as a sheet of aluminum. And yeah, and, and you want to use a lot of rivets to attach it together. That's the way they put airplanes together. Right. So if it's good enough for a plane, it's good enough for this, right? No doubt about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they'll both fly, but you're right. Now, what motor are you running in it? It's a uh, 1977 Lincoln 460 um, out of a Continental. Right. It's uh, It's been built. It's been, you know... Board over a little bit. I think it's 466 or something like that. And Have you dynoed it or anything? No. No. Uh, I yeah. mean, it, the you car pulled probably all the weighs, what, 2,800 crap. pounds. It's, you think it weighs that much? Uh, maybe. I mean, that motor's got to weigh as half as much as the guy. If you take the motor and the rear axle, I bet you got at least half your weight there. You have to. Yeah. We, we've been determining whether this thing has more unsprung weight than sprung weight. Right. It, may, it just may, may well have that. And, what, and this is hand-built, too, but what did you fashion that nose after? It's, it's, it's not really after anything. It's just sort of... Kind of looks like a coupe nose or an old, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it's got the traditional style right, of, right. of certain years, but it's kind of... I just start drawing stuff. It's not a knockoff of anything. It's yeah. just just make you feel that way. Yeah. And those those cab lights, those are like LEDs or something up there? Yeah, those yeah. are the clearance lights. I mean, it's a dually. It's got to have clearance right. lights. Right, I'm with you. Has it got a backup beeper? No. <laughs> Almost seems like it should, right? <laughs> the right, this thing should be going beep beep when it backs up. Now, did you? Everybody, right? They've been crowding you the whole day of the show because this is just this cool, man. This is you know, this is the kind of stuff you hope to find when you come to a moonshine show. And then, of course, he ain't running no smog or nothing. You just took the motor out of that Lincoln. Because yeah. when you think '70s Lincoln, you think dog. I think they were '70s yeah, anything, right? Yeah, they were. The uh, the guy that built the engine, um, he's he's uh, his name's Milton Wolf. He he had like 17 years at Roush in R&D, uh, okay. and he um, he was he's got stories that you can't even keep up with him. Sometimes the right. stories just go on and on and on. And he was saying that Ford did some things back in the 70s, in the late 70s, where they would retard the timing back seven degrees on the cam, on the crank. Right. To pass smog. Oh, I got gotcha. you. So there's there's all this this weird stuff that you have to be ready for when you're building an engine like that. Yeah, right. Yeah, I would think there's a lot of stuff you have to be available for. Cause you know, like even I'm I mean I'm not gonna call it the right word. I'll just tell you guys right out of the gate. But it's kind of got a, that pleat design or whatever you want to call that diamond pleat yeah. design through it. Yeah, you know, so you see, tuck. right? You stayed you stayed uh, close to you know you put enough traditional touches in it, but made it very. Uh, Road Max, Mad Max looking. Yeah. Very cool. It's just got loads of attitude. That it does. Does it have a name? No. Nah. We got to give it a name, I man. Think the owners, uh, the owners trying to come up with something. Right. Um, as far as uh, he wants to to do a logo on the door. He does a lot of graphic design. And okay, cool. He's gonna come up with something, but I don't even know what it is. Kind of like a shop look, shop truck yeah. logo kind yeah. of. Yeah, that'd be cool. Although I don't know, man. That's just so so sweet looking with all that polished you know what i'm saying i mean you almost be careful owner whoever you are be careful don't screw this up because man these boys have really rocked it i love the back bumper too man you did all that yeah little bear claws on there. right right and then you know i think it's cool too that you know you you can tell that you got nice welds and all that in there, but you didn't really make any attempt to get them back polished or to, to take yeah. the discoloring away. It's Drawing just like, there away. it is. It's raw, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just, the whole truck is just way cool, but it's just really raw looking, you the know? The whole truck's too welded together. Wow. There isn't, there isn't any, any welds on here that are not TIG welded. Man, I love, <laughs> I love how the drive shaft runs right through there, man. Dude, you guys rocked it, man. What's the next project coming from you? Uh, we got a we got a sedan that we're building with a new Coyote 5.0 motor in it. And we're gonna do some really cool stuff. Dude. When will it be done? Um, Ballpark. I know that you can't. I think maybe spring. Okay. I, that's what I hope. Good. But we're doing some pretty radical stuff to that motor that 
I don't think it's been done. And, right. And it's going to be, it's going to have some dino time, and we'll get some videos of that. That'll be fun. Cool. Well, fellas, thanks so much for giving me the time to check this out. So, and I've been absolutely. pestering you all day, but it was on my bucket list of this show. I had to get this one before I left. I wouldn't let you all leave without letting me shoot it. So absolutely. thanks so much, man. Glad to and do it. hopefully, we'll, you know, now that we know each other, you got some more projects. I'll be glad to shoot oh, them yeah. for you, man. You all build cool things. Do me a favor and shut that door and let me just do a quick walk around on it. Sounds good. Y'all got to love that, right? Like I said, I love when somebody loses their mind. They build a car and they lose their mind. What kind of brakes are you running on it? Same thing out of the RV? The, yeah, they were. They, that was actually a disc brake we were in. Um, it, their uh, brakes are gigantic. Oh, I would think. This piece right here, I made this on my uh, my Bailey Industrial Power Hammer. I just got that thing in and got to work it out on that piece. It looks like a piece off an Indy car. Yeah. It looks like some kind of air intake off an Indy car or something. No, dude, you rocked it, man. I bet you don't have any problems in traffic. I bet everybody just moves over. You'd be surprised how many you pass cops. Yeah. And they just wave. <laughs> how wide is it? I mean, because that's the other thing. It looks it looks cool and light, but it also looks mammoth and heavy, you know? Yeah, the, it's, it's no wider than the motorhome. Yeah, well... <laughs> It's still I mean, pretty wide for a car, yeah. Yeah, yeah no. It's rather long, it's like a 134-inch wheelbase. Really? So, yeah. See, it doesn't look as long as it does wide. Wide is what comes across as, yeah. wow, that's wide, you it, know? It, it, it's the, rather balanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The front axle is really wide compared to, like, a, a an early Ford right. spindle-style axle, you know? Man. Well, again, nice, nice job. So there you go, folks, from the uh, Moonshine Cruise Inn in Hiawassee, Georgia. There's a traditional hot rod kind of thing. Very cool. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See you.